Man, I would never expect this day will come. Hey dude, did you kill the zombie? I think so. I must have bashed that fucker's skull with the bat. All right, let's keep moving. This place feels like a ghost town. Let's see if we can find nanny survivors around the city. I got this. Nice one, Roman. Thanks. Okay, I think we should be safe for now. I don't see any zombies roaming around this area. Seriously, another one. Wait, who just shot that zombie with an arrow? The heck are you two kids doing out here alone? We're just out here scavenging for food and water. Maybe one of those houses over there might have what we need. I'm afraid that would be a fatal mistake. Who knows one of those houses might be infested with zombies. There's recently deceased family residing in one of those houses. So you mean, they didn't make it? Unfortunately so. The dead were congregating in massive cities and attack those who are not infected. Ever since that blood moon occurred. The dead have been rising from their graves and attack any living soul. Wait. What? I thought this was all caused by a strange virus. No way a viral outbreak can cause a blood moon to rise. This must be a spiritual infection. It's not an assumption folks. The sky was literally red. Oh my god man. We're literally living in a nightmare. So, how did that family in that house over there die? Well, they didn't have time to seek refuge. So the only option they had was to stay indoors and barricade all the entrances to their home until dawn. But, the husband accidentally fired a pistol bullet and attracted dozens of zombies to their home. And began to tear down the whole family. Damn bro, they didn't even survive the first night. But anyway, if you guys need any food, there's a shop that sells them. Wait, we still need money to buy stuff? Come on man, it's the apocalypse. Any loot we find is free. Yeah, and besides, we don't have cash anyway, money is pointless. Well, check your guy's hotbar to see how many points you got. Okay, so far we have 1,500 points. Okay, you two, follow me. What are we doing here in the bank? You'll see. Bruh. I'm surprised that this bank is still open during this crisis. Hello you three, did you all came here to exchange your points for cash? Wait, you can do that, I never knew that was a thing. Most businesses have been closed due to the current situation we're dealing with. Since most businesses have been closed during this crisis, there are a few that are still open that sell general goods. There are some traders that might accept cash for whatever you guys are looking for. Aren't you worried about the zombies breaking into this building? Nah, the government has implemented a magical barrier that doesn't allow any zombies to enter this building. Anyway, how much cash can we get for 1,500 points? It'll get you like $15. Cool, I'll like to learn more about the point system. So, each zombie kill will grant you 300 points, so that's like $3. If you manage to hit or shoot a zombie in the head, it's 50 points extra. Cool. Let's exchange our points for money. Okay. So you two are now left off with zero points. Cool. The snow has stopped, so that means the zombies are gonna get burned by the sun. I wouldn't say that. We better hurry and buy some food at the shop. The sun is starting to set. So we better hurry before it gets dark. You think zombies are bad in the day, wait until you see them at night. That's when more graves start to pop up. And I don't want to be out here when that shit happens.
Hey sir, we were wondering if you sell any bottles of water and non-perishable foods. We do, but I recommend you guys start growing your own food. But can't foods like Chef Boy Boyard even adequate for the body's nutrition that it's supposed to receive? I was considering on that, but anyway, I'll take some healthy canned foods and some bottles of water. Okay, so your total will come to $15. Thank you sir. I'll also have the same wood he's having. Okay. Your total will be $15. Holy fuck. The sun is setting. What the hell are we gonna do? If we stay out here, then I'm pretty sure that we're gonna get brutally murdered by these satanic creatures. Would you two relax? I know a place where we can spend the night at. Oh no man, please don't tell me we are spending a night at a cemetery. Of course not man. That's hella fucking stupid right there. That's how we're gonna get eaten alive. If you want to survive, then you gotta be smart. All the big cities in this country have already fallen to the undead. The best thing to do is get far away from cities as possible. And the number one thing you should never do in a zombie apocalypse is try to interact with these motherfuckers, and never trust anyone you see. They could be infected. And if you make any loud noises during the night, you're gonna attract dozens of zombies to our shelter. If that happens, then we're screwed. So, this must be your home, right? Yes, it is. Do you live alone? Well, I used to have a brother that lived with me, but now he's dead. What? Your brother is dead. But how? Don't tell me that he got eaten by a zombie. Well, you see, three days ago, my brother and I were strolling around the city trying to look for a nice restaurant to dine in. All of a sudden, everyone started panicking. That's when I noticed the moon was red, and then, we heard strange noises that we never heard before. And that sound was the groans of the undead. I've seen men, women, and children get torn apart by these creatures. So we knew we had to get out of the city. While we were trying our best to escape all that chaos, a zombie popped out of the ground and started mutilating my brother. I knew I couldn't save him, because once you get bitten or scratched by these creatures, you'll become a zombie in minutes. Fortunately, I was the only person who was able to escape the city. Everyone else was being killed by the armies of the living dead. So you mean, everyone in Portland is infected with this demonic plague? Oh no. I hear gunshots. That means there's gonna be a whole lot of zombies coming to this neighborhood. Shit. I'm out of bullets. I've got to skedaddle or else I'm dead. No sir. Please, I beg you. Please don't kill me. Holy shit man. That was brutal. That zombie just sliced that guy's body in half. Well that guy should have anticipated that kind of attack. He knows zombies are attracted to sound and lights. Okay, let's close this curtain. I don't want the zombies noticing that we're here. By the way, you've never told us who you were. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. But anyway, my name is Carlos by the way. And what about you two? My name is Roman. And my name is Reggie. Okay guys, let's back away from the curtains. I pray to God that we don't get noticed by any of those zombies out there. Fuck you. Yeah, man. Touchdown. Nice one, Alejandro. Well, you guys got lucky this time. Let's see if you three can intercept our ball next round. Bet.
Fuck. Ready, set, hike. Eden passes the ball to Murray. And it's a touchdown battle at the end. I don't believe it folks, another victory for the Dahlia Trio. I don't know if there's a cure for whoever started this demonic plague. So far most, or should I say all Asian countries have already fallen to the armies of the living dead. Yeah, I think it's because they're highly populated countries. I heard India is close to its imminent doom. During the day, the zombies will burn into ashes. So I think it's too late for us to save them. Whoever is responsible for resurrecting the dead from their graves, is doing one of a hell a good ass job exterminating all the normal looking humans from this planet. Lucky for us, our kind is immune to most kind of diseases. Same goes for us. I guess we'll be the only ones left residing on this planet. I wouldn't say that, those wizards from the guild have already made a vaccine for themselves. Yeah, it only works for anyone who has the powers of the will. Well, it's not like I can just toss this splash potion at a zombie that I made will instantly cure it. Oh my god. Where the hell am I? Well, I think I just found a key to save the rest of humanity.